events um, for cancer research just to raise money for um, to, to go into cancer research uh, by local bands. Um, everyone that is here today is doing this for completely nothing, um, completely free. All the exhibitioners, all the bands. Um, so yeah, it's a great cause. My name's Ainsley Stones, I'm the uh, chief songwriter and uh, frontman of the great escape artists who are playing today at about uh, half quarter past three apparently. You are a seven fool, do not fight our command, you must understand. We are de facto dictators. We do all original material, it's all stuff I write, and I would they really it's influenced by most of the world's best kind of classic songwriter kind of bands. So we uh, we like a lot of 70s stuff, we like uh, a lot of stuff like Bowie, we like you know Beatles, um, lots of other bands from around that time. to Brian Bannister and all the friends that helped him make this fantastic festival, yeah? Put your hands in your pockets and fill them buckets up. It's all for charity. It's fair to say that this is a lovely venue. It's a very, very good venue. The stage is nice, good size. PA looks like a decent size. So there's room to manoeuvre. That's the first thing. An awful lot of places you can play, even relatively big bands play uh, sometimes in very cramped conditions so it's nice to actually have uh, yeah a bit of room so fingers crossed it'll all uh, it'll go well right we're in the god child this is the first song off our album which we're selling at the back this one's called fading blue Well, we've been playing together, um, us three, for a while. Chris joined us a couple of years ago, and recently we've got this young man joining us. It's his first gig today, and he's already got his second one tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, we've just recorded our new album, our first album, I might add. Um, and yeah, we're hoping to sell it and see what happens, and hoping for a good night, really, yeah? yeah. yeah. The Sandman spoke to me while I was sleeping He said, wake up, fool, you know this isn't working Well, I know the rules I must resist the kids. What was it like to win that on the bandstand? Well, can I answer this one? Because we were actually, none of us were bothered and because we've got Ollie, we thought, we'll just practice the set that we'd need. We didn't think about anything extra. So when we found out that we were going to be playing again, we kind of panicked. Yeah, we, we were ready to go home. <laughs> we, were ready, we, we were about to go home, and he, say, yeah. he says Indigo Char, and we were like, what? No, no. Did he? Well, no. well, we honestly didn't think we'd win, did we? No, no we didn't think <laughs> we were going to win. No. no. We, um, we were about five minutes away from packing everything up and going home. <laughs> If you could spare some cash for some whiskey or gin Then I'll tell you the story of kisses and sins Thanks a lot, we've got a couple more for you and then you'll be hearing some of the lovely Chantel McGregor later on this evening. I've been playing guitar since I was seven, so 
that's like 18 years now, long time. Um, I'm playing blues rock music with a bit of pop influence as well. Well, my dad played guitar from when I was born, so sort of I got a guitar at three, and then I had lessons from being seven, and that's it really. I just listened to music and wanted to play it and love it. Because, you know, it's just was just fantastic and he's dead so it's not gonna happen. But I don't know, it would be a pretty good dream. <laughs> I suppose if, if we could kind of say at any point over the past 20, 30 years, I would like to have supported Queen would have been excellent. I probably would have liked to have supported uh, maybe I don't know, maybe Beatles, Led Zeppelin, you know, those kinds of bands, or uh, ABBA because, uh, you know, the, at least two of the bands were a very attractive proposition. Um, I guess if you ask, um, if you ask me now, I don't know, maybe somebody like Muse possibly, you know, but uh, anybody who played in front of big audiences and were, were nice people. Pink Floyd, <laughs> Pink Focus, Floyd. Yeah. Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Emerson, Lake Emerson, and Palmer, Lake, yes. Pink Floyd, all the classic rock prog stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So if you're watching, Muse. hurry up and let us open for you. Or Muse. Yeah, I'll, I'll do Muse. Muse. I'll do yeah. Muse. Yeah. 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 was um, if this year goes well then do it for next year and then just keep going um, so hopefully it'll be even bigger and better next year so hopefully we're going to get a really good uh, success instead of giving 50 pence or something like that think of it as being some kind of health insurance put a fiver in or something because most of the people in this room are going to get cancer at some stage you know and you might be 21 at the time or you might be 80, 81 91 but i think if you've got a, a, a system in place if you've got uh, an infrastructure in the country, NHS and also people like Cancer Research UK and Macmillan and all that, who can look after you, it's going to make your life a lot more bearable. I've done quite a lot of big gigs like festivals and stuff like that, so with this being a charity one, it's an important one um, that I feel quite strongly about.